Now, there was an unbridled joy on the Centennial sidelines last week after the Golden Hawks beat Central in the first round. Awaiting for them was Edison, a team whose talent is only matched by their swagger. The Tigers are the favorite to win Division I by their seeding, well, for a reason. The Golden Hawks brought toughness and heart as they did every week this season, but sometimes that can only go so far. First series, though, Centennial shows a glimmer of hope. Max Garris bats down the pass, and the Hawks force a punt. But on the Tigers' second series, the G-Hawks blitz overruns the play, and Kai Williams makes them pay. Free lane to the outside, and that's all he needs. Touchdown, six to nothing. Centennial's offense, yards were tough, but Andrew Hansen, he's a tough kid. Fighting hard on the quarterback. Keeper for a first down. Turn of the quarter, Hansen with his arm to Malik. Elize, who had a career-high three catches in this game. Nice performance, but the drive is stifled when Eric Haynes intercepts the deflected pass. And the Tigers don't waste time from there. Kai Williams, hole was open, and so was the end zone. 14 to nothing. Now, just before the half, the referee shortchanged Centennial. A down, giving them three downs instead of four. You can imagine how coaching staff liked that. It was a huge mistake, and with 40 seconds left, the Tigers seize Kai Williams, Touchdown, 21 nothing at the halftime. Centennial had a legitimate gripe with the officiating air, but in the end, Edison was just better. Second half, more screen pass dominance. AJ Greeley, touchdown, 42 to nothing. The final, the Golden Hawks' great run comes to an end in the quarterfinals. I was real proud. They played hard every down. You know, they didn't give up. These guys made the plays. They made some great plays on offense, defense, and the credit goes to them. They're an incredible team. But uh, uh, I'm really proud of our guys, how hard they played. You know, I've had a lot of time around here, and uh, my time's up. And uh, I wouldn't rather done anywhere else. I love this team. I love the people I'm playing with. Uh, it definitely helps. It definitely grows your character. You know, when you take away the uh, physical talent, you have the heart left, and uh, that's what we played with every game. And I, I would take it. I wouldn't want to take anything over that. So Golden Hawks go out with class, and they have a, a tough team that had a lot of injuries this year. But Edison definitely a contender for a reason. Yeah, no doubt about it. The number one seed looking good. Looking good. Now, you won't find a finer, more respected man than Centennial's coach, Kevin Sneed. But after 38 years of coaching, teaching, and guiding young men, coach has decided to take up another challenge. Well, he's going to do something for himself for a change. Uh, this is it. This is my last game. Yeah, I'm going into retirement. Uh, uh, we can turn this over to somebody else, and I'm going to go fishing and do some other things and, and retire from teaching as well as coaching. So uh, it'll, it's been a great run. It's been a lot of years and, and a lot of fun. And I hate to go out like this, but that some you don't choose, you can't choose how you go out sometimes. But he decided to go out with class, and there is not a more respected guy in the and, town. And you just wish him well. He has Absolutely. had health problems of late. We hope that the rest and the fishing will take care of his health as well. And the Kevin's around for a long, long time to enjoy that as well. But he's done a lot. He's led a mentored a lot of great kids. Through the years, West High all the way through, all and, and through. just a great, great man, and uh, certainly be missed on the sidelines. But yeah. I'm sure we'll see him at some oh, games yeah. as well. Yeah. On that note, uh, Tim Antone Giovanni stepping down mm -hmm. at Garces High School after one year, so the Rams in search of a, a coach as well.